wandering around downtown Chengdu, we walk down this interesting alleyway. We soon found the Chengdu YMCA, which has been around for over 100 years. Of course, we just had to sing. We then headed to the Wen Shu Yuan. Originally built in the Tang Dynasty, it used to be called the Xin Xiang Se. Some years later in the Qing Dynasty, an accomplished Buddhist monk visited the temple, where he built a hut and lived for several years. As the legend goes, when the monk was being cremated, the image of Wen Shu appeared in the flames. As a result, the name was changed. Walking around the temple, you'll see people burning incense, plenty of cultural relics, and quite a few impressive statues. There's also a very peaceful garden here, with a nice little pond and some creative landscaping. It's a great place to escape from the hustle and bustle of the rapidly developing city beyond the temple walls. Speaking of the developing city, there are cranes everywhere you look. In terms of getting around, Chengdu now has a Di Tie. Sui Ran Di Tie Jiu Yi Tiao Xian Dan Shi Hen Fang Bian. We then visited the Ping An Chiao Tian Zhu Jiao Tang. Walking through the open air courtyard, we said hi to Ye Su as well as his mother. Next door there's a church just for her, the Immaculate Conception Church. It's been around since 1696 and was named the Roman Catholic Diocese of Chengdu in 1946. We went inside and had a look around, but with our bellies rumbling, we headed out for dinner. We went to Pang Ma Huo Guo, which came recommended by our hostel. Obviously, this place is popular with the locals. We were seated around a vat of boiling oil full of chili peppers, and we ordered Tu Do, Mu Er, Bai Cai, Yang Ro. You just throw the food into the pot as you please. We even tried some Tian Cheng Du. It's good to mix up a bowl of Zhi Ma Yo, which helps to ease the numbing sensation. After a few minutes, it's time to dig in. Fei Chang Hao Chi. We were both so full, so we decided to go out for a stroll. Zhong Guo Ren Hen Xi Huan Tiao Wu. We strolled around the various stalls, stopping to buy some Ji Nian Pin. It being Chengdu, there was plenty of Xiong Mao swag available. This guy was wowing children with his candied animal designs, a uniquely Chinese custom. We also saw some guys smoking the longest pipes I've ever seen. And it wouldn't be China without cheesy photo ops and plenty of lasers. There's a small night market where you can find plenty of Chengdu's famous Xiao Chi. Unfortunately, we were too stuffed to try any. We found a beer bar which told us to find your beer here, and there were plenty of choices. We settled on some Li Li Shi Pi Jiu. We can kick back to watch some live tunes. After a night of drinking, sometimes you just want to grab your gumar and stumble home together.